The purpose of this video is to find the difference quotient of f of x is equal to x divided by x plus 8. So our formula for the difference quotient is we find our function evaluated at x plus h. Then we subtract from that our function evaluated at just a. And we're going to divide all of that by h. So from the first part, if we take our function f of x and evaluate it as a plus h, we have a plus h, because everything in parentheses replaces the x value, divided by a plus h plus 8. Then for our second term, we have a subtraction sign. And we're taking our function and evaluating it in A. So everything inside of the parentheses replaces the x value in our problem. So we have A divided by A plus 8. Then our entire numerator is divided by H. So now in your numerator, you have two fractions. And what you have to remember is that in order to add fractions, you need a common denominator. Right now, your denominators are not in common. In your first term, we have a plus h plus 8. And in your second term, we have a plus 8. So in order to find our common denominator, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the opposite denominator. So we're going to multiply this side by a plus h plus 8 divided by a plus a plus h. Because once again, we have two fractions and we're trying to add them together. So we have to have the same denominator. On this side, we're going to multiply by the opposite denominator, a plus 8 times a plus 8. So on the left-hand side, we're going to use our acronym of FOIL to multiply our first binomial, a plus 8, times our second binomial, a plus h. On the right-hand side, we're going to use the distributive property to multiply a times a, a times h, and a times 8. So a times a gives us a squared. Our outer, we have a times h. Our inner, we have 8 times a. And our last, we have 8a. Then we're going to distribute our negative a to all of these terms here. So we're going to have a negative a times a. That's going to give us a negative a squared. We're going to have a negative a times h. That gives us a negative a h. And then we have negative a times 8. That gives us a negative 8a. All of that is over our denominator of a plus 8 times a plus h plus 8. And this, we're going to write it as our other division notation, is divided by h. So in our numerator, what we notice is that we have our a squared. Whoa, that's large. Our a squared is going to cancel out with our negative a squared. Our a h is going to cancel out with our negative a h. Our 8a is going to cancel out with our negative 8a. And what we have left there is 8h being divided by a plus 8, a plus h plus 8. Then, in order to divide fractions, we have to change our division sign to multiplication, and we take the reciprocal of our second term. And just like we do with regular numbers, or whole numbers or integers, we can always put it over 1. So if we take the reciprocal of that, this becomes 1 over h. So in order to multiply fractions, we multiply our numerators together. We have 8h. We multiply our denominators together. We have h times a plus 8 times a plus h plus 8. And then what we notice is that in our numerator, we're multiplying by 8 and our denominator we're multiplying by 8 so both of those terms cancel out so our final answer is just going to be 8 divided by a plus 8 times a plus h plus 8 
This is our difference quotient. Made with DoodleCast Pro.